Putting lacquer thinner in your gas tank to clean out your catalytic converter is a bit like trying to kill a fly in your house using a bazooka. Sure, you might hit the fly, but you'll probably take out a wall or two in the process. So let's get into the mechanics of this. First off, the catalytic converter is an essential part of your vehicle's exhaust system that helps reduce the pollutants emitted into the atmosphere. Over time, it can get clogged with carbon buildup, which is what I assume has led us to this question. The theory goes that lacquer thinner can act as a solvent to break down this carbon buildup. While it's true that lacquer thinner has strong solvent properties and can clear up varnishes and paints, introducing it into your fuel system is risky for several reasons. Firstly, lacquer thinner is not designed for combustion in an engine. When you mix it with gas and burn it as fuel, you can't predict exactly how it's going to react with the other components in your engine or exhaust system. There's a possibility that it could damage the fuel lines, gaskets, seals, and O-rings. It's highly volatile and can degrade certain materials that your fuel system components are made of. Secondly, modern catalytic converters and oxygen sensors are sensitive equipment. Cars are finely tuned machines, and just like an orchestra can go completely out of tune with one bad violinist. Even a small discrepancy in the chemicals passing over your sensors can lead to incorrect readings and decreased performance. Now, about the catalytic converter itself. It's a piece of emissions equipment designed to last the life of the vehicle under most circumstances. Suppose it's getting clogged up. In that case, it usually suggests there's an underlying condition elsewhere in the engine or fuel system that needs to be addressed, like failing seals, worn piston rings, or improper fuel mixtures. So what's the best move if your catalytic converter is clogged? Get it checked by a professional mechanic. They can diagnose whether the catalytic converter is indeed the issue or something else. And if it does need cleaning, there are products explicitly designed to be safe for engines and catalytic converters that can be added to the fuel directly, without the rolling the dice approach of lacquer thinner. If the converter is beyond saving, the only proper fix is a replacement. Look, I get the allure of a quick fix. It's like spotting the shortcut on Google Maps that nobody else has taken, and for a moment you feel like a genius. But just like those shortcuts can lead you to a dead end or a private driveway, Taking shortcuts with your vehicle maintenance can lead to bigger, more expensive problems. In short, keep lacquer thinner where it belongs, in the workshop for your wood finishing projects, not in your car's gas tank. Let's keep the experiments to Mythbusters and not our daily drivers, shall we? Stay safe and keep those cars running smoothly by using products designed for them.